Currently, we're using land-based food security interventions, which are uh, going on in Africa and, and investigate the climate change mitigation and adaptation potentials of this thing in sub-Saharan African environment. Uh, the primary purpose of, of this thing is like countries such as Ethiopia, where you know climate is causing significant havoc to food security and, and the well-being of the, of the society. Uh, we wanted to see how different land-based management interventions can help the uh, climate change mitigation and adaptation efforts of the country. What we are hoping for uh, in, in Morocco or, or from COP22 is that many of this land-based food security intervention efforts are usually hampered by lack of resources. However, where we see an opportunity is that you know, there is, 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 is a great potential for this mitigation and adaptation and also creating ecosystem services and benefits. And, and we are hoping that, you know, COP22 will come up with, with policy measures where uh, climate finance, future of climate financing opportunities will consider such, uh, you know, uh, initiatives which are life-saving but at the same time also have a role to create ecosystem services and benefits and also contribute for climate change mitigation and adaptation. So that's exactly where we see policies along uh, considering above and below ground carbon, uh, soil carbon and biomass carbon measurements, uh, policies along streamlining the process and policies along uh, you know, uh, more judicious and, and a, a carbon financing scheme where these things can be taken for sustainability, where uh, societies can be, uh, you know, or communities can be incentivized to enhance sustainability and scaling up of this land based food security interventions for the well uh, being of the society and, and uh, the environment as a whole. Cornell is, is uniquely placed to contribute to climate change with the uh, conversation because there is a strong interest here uh, uh, in engaging uh, with different communities, uh, both international and locally, uh, when it comes to climate mitigation and adaptation. Uh, Cornell has taken sustainability and climate change uh, 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 mitigation and adaptation uh, to climate change as, as an important aspect and, and there are a number of research and, and also uh, courses going on. Uh, there are a number of professionals with, with rich experience who can contribute to this dialogue and, and also help with policy. So I think that as a resource both human and, and also uh, uh, intellectual capital here and, and I think that can be exploited uh, in adopting future climate change policies uh, that are helpful to uh, poor people or, or food insecure people uh, and, and climate uh, people who are challenged by climate change uh, uh, and the side effects of climate change. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.